Hello, this is Ray from DC Rainmaker. What I've got here today is the Four Eyes Precision Power Meter. Um, this is uh, one of the newest power meters on the market. It was announced last fall around the Interbike time frame. Um, it's fall of 2014, and now it's just started shipping here in the last week. I've got one of the first units to come off the production line here. Um, right now they're shipping the left only, which is why you see just a single crank arm. Down the road, they'll also go ahead and start shipping left and right pods, um, and the eventual goal here is to be able to do self-installation. So in this case, it's pre-installed. They're starting off doing pre-install where they work out some of the uh, process, and then they're going to go ahead and do uh, self-install where you can actually glue the pod on yourself using a process and um, some epoxy they provided. So right now, just left only. Uh, but you can see here, it's just kind of a, a simple standard left only um, crank arm box, a very similar box in size to what Stages left only power meter um, ships with, just a, a little bit cheaper right now. Um, so this is uh, just under 400 bucks. Uh, Stage is roughly around 699, I believe, right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'll take my handy dandy IKEA knife, slice through it, and we'll pop it open. Uh, so inside we've got the, uh, the whole kit there. Um, so you can see that uh, this has been factory calibrated and tested by, it looks like, Nate Stromberg on uh, the 30th, uh, that'd be uh, Monday. Um, so I asked them a little bit what they're doing right now in the process uh, for this and um, as it sits right now when the cranks come into them, so normally you would send your crank to them um, and in this case they sent me one that was uh, just basically off the shelf to kind of speed things up. Um, but what I'll do when I get to the right side is I'm actually going to send them back a crank set and they'll install it onto that. But they'll take the, your, your crank arms in um, and they'll go ahead and they'll uh, validate, they'll check them in and then they'll take a picture of them um, as well as then clean them to their standards. Um, then they'll go ahead and install the unit itself um, and then right now they're doing a bunch of testing around that. So they're going ahead and uh, actually doing some pressure testing, basically simulating um, water pressure immersion. So doing what is effectively a underwater pressure test, but they're doing it um, dry. It's very common in the industry to do it that way. Then they're doing some ingress testing as well. Um, so kind of similar to like pointing a, a shower nozzle at it. Um, and then after that, they're actually riding a bit of a short loop that they have um, across a number of different test scenarios, including high cadence, low cadence, high gears, low gears, uh, et cetera. They're, they'll probably go to a bit more of a randomized testing model down the road, but for right now, they want to make sure everything's good to go. So that's the, a quick overview on the testing piece. Inside here, it looks like we've got the quick start guide uh, for getting everything ready to go. Um, so I'll use that here as I, as I set things up but that's the, the quick start guide to start with. Put that down. Um, looks like we've got a sticker, or two stickers, uh, so you can go ahead and put that on something meaningful to you. Um, and then if we just go ahead and pull the whole kit out inside, uh, looks like just uh, some foam protection there. Uh, so go ahead and move that like that. Um, and then below that, we've got a standard CR2032 battery. Um, uh, two of them in this case they put in there. Uh, and these are batteries that you can you know, find online for a, a couple bucks, or you can even buy uh, usually a 10 or 20 pack of these for 10 bucks. So very cheap. This is common in all, um, almost all AMP Plus devices out there use this, and most Bluetooth smart ones as well. Heart rate straps, foot pods, same battery. So nice and easy. And then finally, the actual crank arm itself. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this up. And then here you can see it's a Shimano Altegra um, FC6800 crank arm. And you can see they've already put the pod on it uh, because this was installed by them. Um, down the road when they start doing a self-installed, you would actually be installing this particular pod. So then the box shrinks even more. It's a much smaller box with just this pod on it that's epoxy. And you kind of just barely see the edge of the epoxy down there. Um, probably pretty hard on the camera actually to see that. Um, but that's, that's as simple as it is. Um, I would then open this up here if I wanted to get into the battery compartment. Uh, so so you can just do that, and you can see that's where I'm going to go ahead and install the battery into that unit there. I'll then, I'll then take this crank arm and install it onto my bike on the left um, arm side, and then I'll go ahead and uh, lock it in place, and this will give me left-only power. Um, now keep in mind, with left-only power, uh, at least initially, you're going to see some, some potential variance there because you're only measuring left leg, so if you have a slight um, imbalance between left and right, it might not match exactly to a full power meter. Uh, once they add pod capabilities for the right side, um, coming up here in the May time frame they're saying, then you'd be able a full dual-sided power meter, uh, better turn on wrong, there we go, um, a full dual-sided power meter, no different than something like Vector or one of the other dual-sided power meters on the market. Uh, so that's a quick look at the unboxing of the Four Eyes Precision Power Meter, um, and stay tuned over the next uh, few weeks and months as I go into deeper testing of it um, and start releasing some of those results. Thanks for watching.